Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to talk about how to use the favorites menu on the latest Motion Blue. And it's actually quite easy. Um, as you see here, you have the Cody menu, you have the track mode setup, and right below it, right between the Cody and track mode setup, you have favorites. And uh, I already have mine here. I have Afterburner, Zool, Zombie Ate My Neighbors. So it's a good way to cut all the games that you like to play really often and just have them all in one place for you. Now, um, to start off this video, we're just gonna eliminate all that. So we're gonna remove all favorites. So I just did that, that was really fast. I'm gonna go to favorites now. There's nothing, it's empty. Poor Jigglypuff, whoever that is over there. Okay. Um, and, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some games. But the first thing to do is if you have an Xbox 360 controller and you're on this 32 gigabyte image, you're gonna hit the upper left button um, or the tab on a keyboard. It's gonna get you here. You wanna to go to controls and you wanna see what your current button is for favorites. So as you scroll down here, um, I can go add or remove favorites. And um, it's gonna be, I have it set right now to my right trigger. But if I want to do dinner, I just click add button, go ahead and add it. And then that would be my new button for adding favorites. Um, I'm gonna, just gonna go back here, B, B. B is back on my controller. And now we have the button that we found on our controller. So once it's bound, let's just go add some games. So let's add a couple of Genesis. We're gonna go all the way around. Let's find some games we actually want on there. Okay, our cage grade is hit. We're gonna hit the right trigger. Add it, yes, let's do it. And then uh, let's just get another random game. Hard scroll, let go. Terminator 2, Dungeon of the Day. Right click, yes, add it. Okay, let's leave here. Let's do some Nintendos. Let's do um, 1942, right click, yes, add it. Let's do another Nintendo. Ooh, Link is a good game. Right click, yes, we're good. All right, thanks Nintendo. Let's get some Turbo Graphics. Let's get, um, let's hard scroll up here. Let's get some Super Volleyball, right click. Yes, we're good, let's go back. Okay, let's get some uh, CP1s in here. There's some good games in here. Um, there we go, King of Dragons. Yes, and we want, we want the Knights Round Tables too. And while we're at it, and Ghouls and Ghosts, sure, okay. We got those games. Let's just get like a couple arcade games here. Battle Crane, whatever this is. Okay, let's get number two. Oh, it's a different game, but let's get this as well. Yes, and yes, back. Okay, so now I'm gonna hard scroll down till we get the track mode set up here. And you can see that if I go into favorites, there's nothing here, even though we added all those favorites. It's because you have to generate the list now. So you go to a track mode menu. Click A, go in there. So instead of remove all favorites, we're gonna click generate favorite. Now I'm gonna do a little time lapse here because it does take about, depending on how many different ROMs and how many different emulators you use, it does take a little bit of time, probably a couple minutes. Um, if you have a ton of them, then even more. Um, but here we go. Okay, so that's all done. We're gonna go ahead and go back. And then now we're gonna go down one on the attract mode menu, go to favorite. And all those games we just selected are now on our favorites. And just to show you they work, let's just go to link. Nice. Two points, baby. Okay. So there you go. You got Link. Uh, let's go. Okay. Now the question is, what if I want to add to my favorites? And like I have those, but like, let's say I'm bored of those games. And, you know, uh, for example, I want to add some uh, Super Nintendo games because I didn't add any Super Nintendo games before. So let's say we want to do like, you know, Adam's Family, right click, add to favorites. Yes. And Alien 3, I mean, you got to add that. Alien 3, Alien vs. Predator. And while we're at it, throw in a Disney game there, Aladdin and Alien vs. Predator. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then we're going to go back. And uh, you'll notice that it's not going to just add them directly into favorites. So we added, like, um, no aliens. See, there's no aliens in here. It's just that first time we went around. So you actually have to hit that generate um, ROMs again. Um, and it has to go through here again. And... Uh, here we go. Okay, we're all done there. 
And now when we go to favorites, you'll see we still have the King of Dragons and Knights of Round, of Round Table, go, Ghouls and Ghosts. Those were all ones we added the first time. And then remember, we added even more. And here we go. We have Battle in there. We have Alien Predator, Alien 3, Aladdin we just, we just added, uh, Adam's Family. So that's all working. And it just loads the ROM very easily. Doesn't get much easier than that. And it's a great place to organize any games you're trying to beat currently. Remember, you can save your state. So save state is um, right trigger and select. And then I believe it's right trigger and an arrow or select an arrow. Yeah, see how I'm changing my slots. Then go up, uh, so hold down select and hit your D-pad to change slots. So that's why favorites is cool because let's say I'm trying to beat Zelda. And I need to, uh, does this guy do anything? All right, I gotta jump on him. Got him. Got him. And you're uh, trying to beat like Zelda, for example. The stove can be switched off if you can find the switch. Okay. Gotta get that money though. That YouTube money. Um, you know, like if I was trying to beat a game like Zelda, I could put the game in my favorite. So like every time I boot up my Pi, I don't have to, um, you know, go and find Zelda, especially if you're in these images, like these 128 gigabyte images and things like that. It just makes it a lot easier to go directly where you want to go to. So the only other thing is I don't know how to remove just one favorite. Supposedly it's the same button. It's supposed to be the same button to remove and it's just seeing adding. And if I press add a second time, you think like would a double add then equal a delete? And uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it will because I tried that. Um, so it sounds like you might have to either delete them all and start over or um, I'm missing something. And if I am, please correct me. Um, but I did share with you how to add more to it, how to remove all of them, and uh, how to access it and how to change your controls. If you do have any other questions, please comment below. If you like this video, please give it a little like. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. I don't know. It's up to you. And we'll see you guys on the next one.